Baking soda is a versatile household staple, useful for baking delicious desserts or making homemade cleaning products. Yet, it also serves another practical purpose, pest control. This common, non-toxic powder is not only affordable and widely available, but it can also be an effective DIY solution for managing pests. While baking soda can be lethal to some insects, it merely acts as a deterrent for others. If you're dealing with a specific pest problem in your garden or home, find out how baking soda can help repel them and the best ways to use it to keep your space pest-free. 1. Fleas If you're wondering whether baking soda can effectively eliminate fleas, the answer is yes. To use this remedy, sprinkle baking soda onto your carpets and furniture, then use a stiff brush to work it into the fabric. Afterward, vacuum your home thoroughly, disposing of the vacuum contents in an outdoor trash bin. Baking soda works by dehydrating and killing flea larvae and eggs, helping to control and prevent the infestation from worsening. 2. Mice and Rats No one wants to deal with rats and mice in their home, and there are various methods to handle them. Many people choose baking soda as a first line of defense. Start by mixing one cup of cornmeal with either one cup of powdered chocolate mix or sugar. Then, add one cup of baking soda and mix thoroughly. To create rodent traps, fill jars with the bait mixture until they are about half full, and place the jars in areas where rodents are commonly seen. This homemade rat poison attracts rats with the chocolate or sugar, and the baking soda is what does the job. When the baking soda reacts with the rodent stomach acids, it produces carbon dioxide gas. Since rats cannot expel gas, the carbon dioxide builds up, causing internal ruptures or blockages. 3. Cockroaches Baking soda has various uses around the home, including killing cockroaches. However, it only works if the insects ingest it. Once consumed, baking soda reacts with the acid and moisture in the roaches' stomachs, creating pressure that eventually kills them. Since baking soda is not naturally attractive to cockroaches, you'll need to mix it with something to entice them to eat it. Cockroaches are drawn to sugary and starchy foods, so mixing baking soda with sugar is effective. Combine equal parts of sugar and baking soda in a small bowl and place the mixture in areas where you've noticed roaches, such as corners of your kitchen. The sweet scent will attract the roaches, leading them to consume the bait. After ingestion, the baking soda will react inside their bodies, but unlike chemical insecticides, this method isn't immediate. It usually takes about 12 to 24 hours for the roaches to die, depending on the amount of baking soda and water they've ingested. To ensure you address the entire infestation, continue to sprinkle the mixture around your home for a few days until no more roaches are visible. 4. Ants Baking soda can be an effective solution for keeping ants out of your home or dealing with an infestation. To prevent ants from entering, simply sprinkle baking soda around doorways, window sills, and other entry points. Additionally, place it in cabinets, under sinks, and in other dark, damp areas where ants might seek shelter. If you need to use baking soda as an insecticide, you'll need both baking soda and confectioner's sugar. Ants typically avoid baking soda, but when mixed with sugar, they are tricked into consuming it and spreading it within their colony. Here's how to use baking soda to kill ants. Prepare the mixture, combine equal parts of confectioner's sugar and baking soda in a cup. Confectioner's sugar is essential because ants can separate regular sugar from the baking soda. Enhance attractiveness, depending on the ant species, you might add honey, jam, peanut butter, or another treat to make the mixture more enticing. Apply the mixture, sprinkle the mix around high traffic areas where ants are active. For instance, place it at the entry points such as cracks in walls leading to your kitchen. Once the infestation is under control, seal these entry points. Outdoor use, scatter the mixture around ant mounds, stepping stones, firewood piles, and the base of trees to target outdoor nests. Alternative methods, you can also create a paste by mixing baking soda and sugar with water, or place the mix in a soda can outside. Ants will be drawn to the sugary bait inside the can, 
while pets will be kept away. By following these steps, you should be able to address your ant problem effectively. 5. Bed Bugs Baking soda is a well-known home remedy for dealing with bed bugs. It works by absorbing fluids from the bug's waxy exoskeleton, leading to dehydration. Additionally, the tiny granules of baking soda can cause internal bleeding by cutting into the bed bug's shells. To use this method, sprinkle baking soda around your mattress and the surrounding area where bed bugs are likely to be present. After a few days, vacuum up the baking soda and repeat the process as needed. 6. Centipedes Centipedes are drawn to damp, concealed areas such as drains and leaf piles, which is why you might find them in your shower or sink. To address this, sprinkle baking soda on carpets before vacuuming to reduce excess moisture that attracts these pests. If centipedes are entering through your pipes, use a solution of half a cup of baking soda and one cup of white vinegar. Pour each ingredient down the drain separately, when they combine, they will produce carbon dioxide that helps eliminate the centipedes. 7. Cabbage Worms a mixture of equal parts flour and baking soda is an effective solution for protecting your crops from cabbage worms. These pests, which are particularly fond of brassica family plants like broccoli and cauliflower, can cause noticeable damage to your greens. Simply dust the vegetables with this powder to deter the worms. Within two days, your crops should be free of pests. 8. Silverfish Baking soda acts as a natural repellent for silverfish. To use it, apply baking soda to damp areas around drains or rocks that attract these pests, as it helps to dry out these environments. In your garden, spread a thin layer of baking soda over the soil to keep silverfish away. Inside your home, sprinkle baking soda on carpets and floors before vacuuming to dehydrate their eggs and eliminate moisture that might be drawing them in. 9. Rabbits Rabbits, though charming, can be troublesome for gardens as they often nibble on greens, flowers, produce, and bark. Fortunately, they dislike the taste of baking soda. To deter them, create a barrier of sodium bicarbonate around the plants they prefer. You'll need to reapply the powder after each rainfall, but this natural repellent will effectively keep rabbits at bay without harming them. 10. Hornworms Hornworms have a fondness for leafy greens, which means your garden vegetables are at risk from these pests. To combat them, you can apply baking soda directly onto the hornworms or their eggs to eliminate them. Additionally, a mixture of equal parts flour and baking soda can be used to create a harmful bait. Sprinkle this mixture around your yard to repel the hornworms effectively. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.